have you ever thought about bags that you thought you would never buy and yet they are in your collection right now? But specifically, me and Julie are talking about coach bags. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Hello, my name is Andrea and thank you for joining me today in the Babe Cave today. And welcome to my channel or welcome back. And uh, thanks for all the new subscribers that have hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you out there for watching my videos. Uh, today is a collaboration with Julie from Agent Bag Reviews. So after you watch my video, go on over to her video and watch her coach bags that we never thought we would buy, but we did. <laughs> And her reasons are going to be totally different than mine, and her bags most likely will be totally different than mine. <clears throat> so first off, I wanted to show you the bag of the... Well, I wore this sparkly pink bag. As you can see, it's not hanging up right now. It is so fun. I went to a play. It was a middle school play, uh, and my friend's daughter was in it. It was Clue, and it was spectacular. So if you're watching, you know who. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, but yeah, I just rocked my little... It held, you know, my keys, my wallet, some chapstick. Perfect little cute... Okay, on to the subject. I have four that I never actually thought that I would buy and did. <laughs> so let's start with... The one that I bought a little bit of time ago, um, and that would be, you've seen it before, <laughs> the Tom Wesselman Rogue <laughs> collaboration. Yeah, I went all out and got the keychain. I love the lips. Like, I don't know. I just think everything about this is perfect. The color, and if you didn't want to show the lips, you got the back side, and you can put the the charm on this side it comes with the double handles it comes with a crossbody strap here's the crossbody strap that's really thick with the the brass hardware and then these are the little uh shoulder straps which i think i prefer the the two straps i mean look at the detail on the Handles. I mean, everything about this is a Rogue 25 size. It's the perfect little size. It's, you know, the Speedy 25 is a good size for Louis Vuitton. I believe the Rogue 25 is the perfect Rogue size. So, one, I didn't think I would ever own a Rogue because a lot of those are way higher prices than I want to pay for a coach bag. So, this one actually was on the coach reserve for a really long time and i finally snatched it i'm like you know what i i don't own a rogue and i really love the lips and it was like around 200 dollars. yeah i couldn't beat it it has the feet on the bottom everything about it is in that's that smooth saddle so yeah, this is my first and maybe my only ever Rogue <laughs> that I never thought I would buy, yet here it is. And I really like this bag. And honestly, it'd be good for this time of year with all that red. <laughs> so that's my first one. The next one is my... Actually, I bought this one before my Rogue. And this is, of course, the... Pillow Tabby 26, the large size in Candy Apple, I believe. I never thought that I would actually own any of these Pillow Tabbies. Um, but, oh man, am I so glad I did. <laughs> this is that lambskin soft leather. Yeah, it doesn't hold that much. And, you know, I had to put extenders on the little shoulder strap. I got these uh, extenders from Amazon, so they were probably like $13 to 
make the shoulder strap the length that I wanted it to. And it comes with a crossbody strap as well. It's just, it's a little bulky. I like the shoulder carry. Uh, no back pocket, unfortunately, but I never thought that I would have this bag in my collection because, again, the prices were just higher than I wanted to pay. And this popped up on Dillard's, I believe, for around 200 and like 200 to, you know, I'd like to spend less, but 200 is like usually my cap. I always wait for a deal and sometimes it pays off, sometimes I miss out. You know, I have a lot of bags in my collection, so I ain't missing out on too much. <laughs> but yeah, this is, you know, red, which I don't wear that often, but I am pulling this bag out this season for sure. Yeah, love it. Uh, here's the inside in case you haven't seen one in a while. <laughs> Here's the inside with the uh, inner zip. They probably could have left that inner zip part out and we would have a little more room since it's so puffy. And uh, yeah, again, you have to kind of be careful with your fingernails and this C has, a, I believe it's just a thin layer of leather. So you kind of got to be careful with your, with your C, but so glad that I have it. Did not think that I would actually own one. <laughs> and if this ever popped on the secondhand market, you know, again, I don't know that I would buy this kind of leather uh, from an unknown. I'd rather buy it from an actual store because they are producing a lot of fakes on this. So yeah, I got this one from Dillard's and I am so glad that I have one Pillow Tabby 26 in Red Apple. <clears throat> a more recent, which I am a big fan of artist collaborations. <laughs> and I saw this one, the Bandit, on Julie's channel. And I also saw it on Yoda Styles' channel. They have the Bandit, which is the Coach Boutique. And that was five $600. I don't know. It was a lot. And I was like, no. <laughs> And I never saw it on Coach Reserve on the outlet site until they redid the collaboration on the outlet site. <laughs> the Mint and Surf uh, Morgan Crossbody, I believe is what it's called. And this bag is a work of art. I, I just, I like that it's silver. You know, I have a lot of gold hardware. So I had to buy an Amazon chain and this crossbody with that chain, it looks really good. I mean, look at the print on this. It's so pretty. Let me open it up. I like the different buckle here. And this one comes with, yeah. It also comes with a shoulder strap. I do not have extenders for it. Um, now, I typically don't like the brown with the black, but on this bag, <laughs> you can't see it. If if the if this flap was puffy, like that Claire, and I could see that brown, I would not buy the bag. <laughs> but it's it's been amazing. You know, again, I wish this was black. Coach, why, why aren't you doing this in black? Micro suede or whatever it is. But it has the front pocket. Yeah, I've, I've rocked this a few times. I need to bring it out too. But when you have so many bags, <laughs> you just can't decide which one to choose. <laughs> but this Morgan in the Mint and Surf, yeah, I never thought I would buy it. Because I wasn't going to pay the Bandit price. But I am so happy with my Morgan from the outlet. And it even dropped in price after I bought it. Which is kind of annoying, Coach. But whatever. So, yeah. This one is definitely one I never thought that I would get this print. And I'm glad they did it in the Morgan bag. Because I never had a Morgan bag either. So, there you go. This last one <laughs> is my recent purchase because well it is one that I never thought I would buy that I have now 
they finally brought the Pillow Madison price down for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever. This bag is so luxurious. Same lambskin leather as the tabby. They both are super soft. The, the quilting, just everything about this screams luxury to me. No feet on the bottom, super puffy. It does have a back pocket, thank goodness. I never thought I would buy this one because of the price. <laughs> I think these were always four ninety five. I I don't know. They might have went down to three ninety five, and I didn't want to pay that either. So when they finally had the huge fifty percent off sale, I got this gorgeous black one, and oh, everyone you know has reviewed this bag a, over and over again, but. I, I never got to see or touch or, you know, see it in person. And I should have because I have a, a coach store and I probably would have fell in love with it and paid that full price. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I didn't go in there. But yeah, this Madison, Pillow Madison, and this is the shoulder, the bigger size shoulder bag. Totally worth all the money. <laughs> I get why this one is so high priced all the time except for when I got it thank goodness <laughs> so a quick little inside again it has that thin layer of leather on the C you got to be careful with the front flap you can put a card case in that and yeah it doesn't fit me crossbody at all it's too short so it will be just a shoulder bag which I'm fine with but yeah this is oh this is a bag I never thought that I would get because I like to save money. <laughs> and when they're five, six hundred dollars on coach, I just don't like to do it. <laughs> I just, I'm a cheapskate sometimes, but, or you can call me frugal, you know? And a lot of people, I think on my channel are the same where we like a deal. And I like a deal. So again, I never thought I would own the Pillow Madison. But oh, so glad I have it now. I have not carried it yet. But oh, I will be carrying this. For sure. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> <clears throat> so those are the coach bags that I never thought I would actually own. <laughs> and yet now I do. So if there's always, you know, some bags on your wish list that you think are never within your grasp, you know what, if you're patient, if you, you know, sometimes those bags pop around on different sites, you know, if you trust secondhand market, you could always look there if you know what to look for. Um, look at the serial numbers, you know. I know that they like to replicate uh, coach bags a lot so just be careful on that but yeah these are my four that I never actually thought that I would I, I would own <laughs> and I thank you Julie for doing this collaboration with me and go on over to her channel and watch her and subscribe to both of us <laughs> it's free and hit that like down below and are there bags that you thought you would never own that you do now? Let me know down below. I would love to hear which bags you have that you didn't think you were gonna get. <laughs> and uh, again, thanks for subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell for future videos that you don't wanna miss because I have some collaborations coming up. I have another quince bag and uh, an accessory and I also have another collaboration with another company. I won't spoil it. So be sure and subscribe so you won't miss out on my video. And until next time, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!